Hi Aries. Welcome to your quantum reading. This is for Aries Sun Moon Rising. Welcome to my Cross Watchers. Cross Watcher, you could be dealing with an Aries and the message could be for you. So feel free to take it however it resonates with your situation. Keep in mind these are general timeless readings. So let's just dive in, okay? <laughs> you guys know the drill. This is a few too many, but there could be something here about an engagement possible. We have the poet. That's a lot of cards too. Okay, so we've got um, Mystic Upside Down and <laughs> this is so accurate. Okay, so <laughs> all right. So for some of you guys, there's this like particular process that I either it did transpire. I know this is an insane amount of cards, but I'm serious. I am going to kind of like touch on this process a little bit because I was seeing this specifically. Some of you guys could have been all sorts of like neurodivergent, and you could have felt like you had a gift, but you um, you either had people that didn't believe you, or you were put in some kind of relationships where. It, it was conditional love whenever agape is upside down because that's my unconditional love card. So that's kind of like there was a relationship that you went through and there could have been a person here that denied like that you had some kind of ability or that you saw something like that your intuition could have told you something was on and someone could be trying to like deny that and I think that there's a person here that you have either currently in your life or you've somehow dealt with them but they might have these conditions on how they love you like you either have to have a, a specific lifestyle you have to live a certain way or be a particular religion or be acting very like according to this person's ideals and that hasn't loosened. It's almost like this person, as they're aging, those are getting even more rigid <laughs> and concrete. So it's like, there's a person here that wants to, like, you can find this a lot in religions or, you know, the patriarchy is that you're not allowed to have some kind of intuitive ability. Um, only certain people have that. I don't know. I don't really um, believe in that, but that's my own personal opinion. Okay, so um, sometimes you can come into this really. I think that you did have an intimate relationship with someone. I think that whatever, like you might not even totally understand what transpired here. Like I almost get that there was a person here that was moving the goalpost. Um, could have been really critical of you or your appearance in some way or some shape or form. But you did go through some kind of significant awakening from this connection. So it tells me that it could be one of those catalytic ones. It was one that really shifted and changed you. Um, maybe you even started to develop a stronger relationship with whatever ability you think that you have. Now, every time this card comes out, it's hilarious because this can be this process. I talked about this and so I think it was Aquarius's reading, but you can go through this process of just being kind of wild. In that book, The Woman, Women Who Run With The Wolves, they talk about that it's kind of healthy for women to have this period of time in their life where they just go wild they don't have to wear makeup anywhere and they're able to just like be free and untamed i do think that that is healthy for an amount of time but sometimes what can happen is like <laughs> there's there's almost this um side effect of taking that path where you know 
you lose being put in pressurized situations to bring out this gem energy because you guys probably you might resonate with maybe you are a hidden gem and um so <laughs> this th sometimes what happens is taking this path is like you part of this gets covered up if i want to say this like like certain because this can be multi-dimensional or having a very dynamic personality that there's like really fascinating um aspects of you that come out depending on which situation that you deal with and it looks like that's kind of the process that you're moving into at this time take whichever part of the timeline that you fall into this is very weird and unique the way that i'm doing this but i'm just gonna take it so Whichever part of the process, we'll see if we can like narrow it down. But eventually, if you guys do decide to ever take that path, like it's really huge the development that you can go through there because you discover a certain part of yourself. And it's just this process of uncovering these like fascinating aspects of yourself and then the truth. But like sometimes taking this um, path is like maybe there are um sometimes your perception about the world can be kind of black and white <laughs> and it's not so easy and i've seen something very fascinating taking place there where like for example no i don't know if i should talk about it because it's like a really sensitive highly charged topic like sometimes you know how you can be like you want change in your own society or in your own country. And then sometimes when you go to a different one and then you have this huge amount of gratitude when you come back, it's like interesting shifts like that that take place. I don't know, please don't judge me. So we have the Queen of Swords. So it looks like there is some kind of air quality or interaction that's going on. We have Justice in the reverse. How are these cards? I shuffle these so much. We have the Page of Swords. <laughs> that took me a while to do. Okay. Four of Pentacles is next. Five of Swords is in the reverse. Eesh. Dying. Four of Cups is in reverse. Three of Cups is in reverse. And Eight of Swords is reverse. All right. I feel like there could be a, definitely a conversation that's taking place. And it's like really interesting because both people are in the upright which is saying that, okay, so there is a person here that could have been a mentor or a guide, or there's someone here that's like more experienced or more advanced in some way. And I know that this will be confusing, but you guys will understand if it's taking place in your life. So if you entangle that popular word <laughs> I use, if you had this interaction with this person, there could have been like some unconscious mirroring or whatever like there's a multitude of words that can describe just energy transference in the first place so right now these two people are in the upright there's a person here that doesn't like have bad intentions but also is new like new or or isn't as experienced or doesn't fully know but there's another person in the dynamic that sees another side of their life that's playing out and knows more than this one okay but there's a person here that's getting an inkling i know this sounds really convoluted sorry okay so these two people had some kind of there either was an actual conversation that took place and in that conversation there was like a whole lot more that was transferred you might be coming to the realization right now, Aries, and either, either, you, oh, it's going to be all right. It's going to turn out in a wish fulfillment. I think especially as long as, um, 
both people have a willingness to go in and just like have very clear communications and clear things up. There was this person just genuinely doesn't know. Okay, like sometimes this can be too where a person was like trying to learn or like if this is a mentor or because obviously there's someone here that's further advanced or has more knowledge on what's transpiring here, but it looks like it's something going on with either negative karma or it feels like something is unfair, but it was like this emotional part was a big part of it as well. So like, um, okay. So this person here was going through some kind of archetypal development and it's super weird that I brought up women who run with the wolves because I've brought this up previously on the channel, but in that book, seriously, you guys should read it. I know for males that might not sound very interesting, but women specifically go through this archetypal development where when they're the maiden, it's like a lion cub that's learning about predators. Um, and women go through that. And there's this whole story in that book that talks about Bluebeard and how he's a little off and he's a little weird, but he's and he tells he marries this woman and he tells her not to look in the closet and he goes away and she looks in the closet and it's like really bad. You should you can even Google the story, just Google Bluebeard and you can read the story for yourself because I don't want to spoil spoiler alert. So that's literally what this looks like to me because the poet is this process that you go into. It feels like the darkness. And if you didn't have darkness surrounding you, you wouldn't be able to pull the light up. And a lot of the times you have to almost alchemically conjure up the light in the darkness. So you do that a lot by creating passion it's a lot of things that you have to be self-motivated about to try to activate this and depending like if you're feeling this pressurized process see because like the pressure that's creating the diamond that is you this is in like the halfway which means that you're not completely hidden you know, people might be drawn to you or think you're magnetic, but you're, some of you guys might be doing this out of self-protection. Like you don't want to fully be seen because it either brings on a multitude of more responsibilities or just freaking insane situations that develop you and grow you even more. But I feel like you've been keeping yourself hidden. I'm just going to say that straight up, whatever that means. Us as human, like sometimes we hold ourselves back from our true whatever potential there's someone here that's doing that and so like i'm i think i am talking i mean these are obviously feminines it's possible there can be three energies involved here because we do have the three of cups reverse so it's possible but according to this reading i i do think that there was a disappointment period or maybe a depression period. I do think that a lot of that has transitioned. If you had some disappointment about some of the connections that you had, that they're either like not quite what you were hoping for or expecting, you could have felt like this was like a lack of true friendship, you know, like um, someone that didn't, it's like gonna bring out weird things in people, people that have integrity like I'm I'm not gonna cross this line or cross this boundary um it's like highlighting that in some of the connections here and it looks like it's a group setting or a situation or something like that That is just so interesting because I've seen that in seriously so many situations. It's not even funny. So, but what was I saying? Oh, yeah. So that process. Yeah. So that process of going down, 
this can happen because it's saying that there's either like a hidden treasure. I know that these sound all like very magical words, but I once had someone say it to me a very, very long time ago, and it was all very true. And you just do these things to try to discover this light. And it's a lot of internal processes. It's like the way that you date yourself or the way that you get to know yourself. It's very important apparently at this time. So there could be a conversation that's coming up here. I definitely wouldn't be surprised. Anytime I see two air signs, I'm like, boom, they have got something to say to each other. <laughs> Cause air signs, I swear, can't shut up. So like, um, yeah, it looks like there's a person here who doesn't wanna play games. I. In this particular spread, I like the Five of Swords reverse because it's like, um, you know how to go in and interact with this in a really cautious way and a willingness to learn. Either you're the one going in and educating a person or you're dealing with someone and sometimes both situations can play out and trip you out even more because it's all about karma. So if that was split if it you might have it reflected in a completely different situation all of it is just trying to get back up to this point okay which i do think is coming like a wish fulfillment or you feeling a lot of gratitude and just feeling like back to your old self i think that is coming or just this wish fulfillment there's a wish fulfillment coming in Anyway, let me dive into the extended Aries. If you want to join me over there, feel free. Go down below, click on the Vimeo link, see you over there. But if this is where we leave things, sending you so much love, wishing you all the very best. See you in your next reading. Take care.